Sticks against lasers and that crazy coyote are not my idea of a good time. Coming up, G.I. Joe Classified Series number 117, the Cobra Techno Viper. Stick around. What's up, baby, and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the G.I. Joe Classified series, number 117, the Cobra Techno Viper. Yay! Very cool. I've uh, been looking forward to this one. Um, you know, you got your classic Techno Viper here. He's got his purple jumpsuit on, all kinds of different tools in there, backpack rifle, a bunch of good stuff. So, finally, uh, we did actually pick up two of these, you know, troop builders, so got to get two. I'm going to open one for the video, and depending later on if I'm going to use another one or not. Uh, they do have a separate Techno Viper coming out with the HMS right here. If you got it pre-ordered, cool. Uh, I believe that's shipping May 1st, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and go over the box. So, you got your little artist render here, which kind of looks a little bit like it would be from an animated show, which is pretty awesome. Flip around to the side. There's your QR code. You got some stats around to the back uh one thing that i am missing is it would show the figure's actual height you know could be 6.3 inches you know 5.9 inches but they took it off that sucks i would like to get that back uh it looks like he's in i guess like an asian town you got some writing up here uh he's got this like holographic you know readout that comes out of his uh wrist gauntlet here which is pretty awesome uh close up of a little He's got a little screen on one of his wrist pieces right here. Another close-up of the backpack. You got stats again. Flip around to this side. Full shot of the artist render. At the bottom, you have UPC and crap. And the top, Cobra 117. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop him open. But first, please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right. So let's get out our little mail opener here. And snip so this is cool man um if you guys aren't sure what a techno viper is they basically provide field maintenance and front combat engineer capability to uh the cobra frontline troops you know they repair his tanks uh retrieve like large heavy machinery from inaccessible places you know that's literally from the uh, file card of the original one but anyways oh forgot crap all right so here he is in his plastic dungeon Lots of cool shit. You've got this hammer, uh, claw, and a bunch of cool things. Uh, pistol down here. There's your rifle, your tube, and your backpack. So um, we'll start by taking everything out, and then um, we'll go over it. So here is the pistol. That looks pretty neat. Um, got a little upgrade of something here, which is nice. And he's got his little, I guess, a red dot at the bottom here. Got a nice little heat shield on that slide at the end for a blast effect pretty cool it's got a grip around the grip uh, pretty nice pistol i like it all right next go with his rifle here and they pretty much took the uh, original look of their i'm not sure exactly what kind of rifle it is just another type of laser rifle um you do attach the, that tube to this so it's pretty neat looking pretty much an upscale version of the classic one looks good you do have a small hole here for a blast effect. Uh, very nice. Let's go ahead and pop this tube out. Just take a look at it. You see it's black on each end. There's your openings, you know, so you can plug them into the backpack and the gun over there. There's the silver on the tube itself. Very flexible. So that's nice. Shouldn't get in the way of anything. Going on to the backpack. I'll show the back first. Mostly solid, all black. A couple lines down here. There's your peg for the back. Uh, go around here. You got your little spaces for each of the tools. And up here, it looks like a little fan, maybe to uh, like an intercooler. You got a couple of tanks here that I'm assuming would have the uh, whatever is going to come out of that rifle. So the tube feeds it to that and it just spews it out. So you can make up your mind, make it be whatever you want it to be, whether it be acid or, you know, flames, who knows but pretty neat and you got this handle down here at the bottom so if you don't want to have it on his back you can simply just hold it like that 
very cool. Nice new addition. I like this a lot. All right, next we're going to go to this little hologram piece right here. So as you saw on the back of the box, this will plug into his wrist light right here. And you got a couple different things on here. Not exactly sure what everything is. You have this little design down here. A uh, couple things. There's no, literally no text at all. Just a bunch of designs. And this is showing you like the bars on something, like maybe the power or whatever. And it's just kind of translucent. If you flip it around, you see pretty much the same thing, just in reverse. And uh, yeah. It almost looks like it says team, but I'm not sure. Anyways, you plug that in with this piece, and there's your hologram. Now we'll go over the tools one by one. Let's take them all out. So first up, you have your hammer, and here that is. Now I'm noticing each of these tools has this piece at the bottom. So I'm wondering if you take this tube and make it plug into that, because maybe they're... Um, they're powered through that backpack. Whatever that juice is that's in them tanks gives this supply. You know, it could almost be maybe like an air compressor. Who knows? But this could be like a power hammer. You know, doo -doo 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 -doo. you don't want to have to swing it too hard. Um, detail one is pretty nice. It's a new design. We have a basically all new piece right here. You know, a couple, I guess, some details down the, uh, down the handle itself. That's pretty wild looking. Cool. And next, uh... So one of these is a wrench and one is a claw. Um, I would assume maybe this would be the claw and this would be the wrench because this looks like it would grip a little better. It's got that, you know, the teeth up on the upper top of it right there. You got the same handle as the uh, hammer. Actually, they all have the same handles, but um, it's pretty neat. Could be something that could go with a bat too, I bet. But uh, anyways, still got the same plug down at the bottom. We'll go ahead and plug that into the tube just so you can see that so if you can't apply enough force to it you know maybe then uh whatever that juice is in the tank can um supply the power they need and then finally you got your little claw arm here and again you got the same handle here the piece at the bottom to plug into your tube and you got this claw at the top so if you can't reach something it's just a little bit out of range you just pull out the little claw and you got it very neat all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pop out the Techno Viper. And here he is. And he looks nice. Bunch of new parts. Uh, very little reuse, if any. It all looks new to me, for the most part, anyway. So you see, get a shot of his helmet. Looks nice, purple. It's got the uh, silver, nice and metallic, shiny silver at the top. Uh, got the black accents, some silver around the cheek and nose, yellow, greenish neon eyes. Pretty cool. Go down to the arms. You got these shoulder pad pieces right here, which uh, they do have this little strap piece that is uh, not connected. So they can move around or pull it up. You know, it's flexible and you can't move it. That's nice. Get a close up of these. This little readout on his wrist gauntlet here it says Cobra and then 50 and some other stuff. It's pretty neat. You have a little hole right here in the top if you want to plug that little hologram into it, which we'll get to. There's also one on this side, and you have a little bit different design over here. Can't really make out what that says, but pretty cool. Uh, silver tube up here, silver tube here. A nice metallic cover sigil right there on his chest. Uh, the belt is not attached, so it is movable. Uh, that comes with a drop leg holster. I like that too, how it's, it kind of looks like the bat's old uh, holster. So that'll come right on down, drop leg, and wrap around the thigh right there. Got your knee pads, your all black boots. Flip them around to the back. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. He's got some good detail. I like it. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. Uh, head can move a little bit side to side. Can move forward, backward. Uh, don't think the neck moves on this one, but it's all right. It's on a ball joint and it can do a full 360. Uh, lifting his arms here, it can go up pretty high. It can go about that high. He's got bicep swivel. He's got 
double jointed pinless elbows. Move down to the wrist. This little gauntlet can move around. Um, if you pluck the hand off, you can slide that off and you'll see the under gauntlet right there, just a bit of a darker purple. And there's that piece taken off. Plug it right back in. A close up of the gloves. We got a nice little design on them. Got some knuckles, a little uh, purple piece on the top of the hand right here. There is a hinged peg in there so it can move inward and outward. And when you plug that back in, it can do a full 360. All right, he's got ab crunch forward that far and back that far. He's got waist swivel. He's got drop legs at the top of the thighs. There's thigh rotation. And then there's double jointed pinless knees. And at the top of the boot and the bottom of the jumpsuit, he's got a calf rotation. Coming down to the ankle, he's got a hinge to allow the foot to move that far forward and this far up. And of course, you've got your side to side pivot. So, all right, there is the Techno Viper. Uh, I think he can stand on his own. But um, let's go ahead and get out his gear and we'll gear him up. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of these tools on the backpack. So we'll go ahead and pop one in right here. And then put the second right here. So we'll kind of try to even them up. So it looks proper. And then we'll take the third and pop that in right there. So there you go. So now if you were to take his hand and open this up a bit and just give him the grip. So, you know, he could literally just hold it, you know, carrying it around. Or you can just put it on his back. Flip him around, line up that peg with the hole in his back. And there you go, just like that. All right, we're gonna take his pistol and uh, throw that in his holster. A little bit of a, of a deeper, holster too so it allowed this pistol to fit in there with that uh that red dot on it and it fits nicely uh let me see now you looks like you can put the tube on either or so if you want to go this way you make them right-handed or this way you make them left i think i'm gonna mix it up a little bit how you saw that he's looking at his left arm i'm gonna have him look at his right arm so this is actually gonna be a, a left-handed techno viper here we'll go ahead and bring this around and plug that into the bottom of the gun right there. Bring his hand up a bit. And bend the fingers open. And then we'll get that grip. Put one up in his hand and have him hold it. So there we go. We got something like that. Kind of a tight fit with that uh, with that tube. It's not as long as I expected it to be. So yeah, a little bit shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Anyways, we're gonna bring this arm up and we're gonna take this little holographic piece, plug it into the top of his wrist like that. Kind of stretch that arm out. See it bends a little bit. I guess I'll have him kind of turned and you know, looking at it. what's up and what he's got to do all right so we'll do something like that and there we have it all right so there is the techno viper and now uh we will go ahead and throw him up onto the turntable and then we will give you some final thoughts gi joe will return after these messages be sure to check out our previous videos a link will always be pinned in the comments G.I. Joe. Alright, so here you have it, the G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 117, the Cobra Techno Viper. Very cool. He's awesome looking, man. He looks great. You know, the detail on it's phenomenal. Uh, he really pops. You know, that purple jumpsuit that he has on, it really makes the figure just stand out. 
especially you know with the additions of those black and silver accents he has on them you know all over and then the silver in the tubes you know up on the helmet you know it just it really looks nice um that sigil especially you know when the light hits it that like metallic sheen comes off of it and it looks great uh really cool additions are these gauntlets you know they have the little readouts on them on that screens on the top and then if he can't look at that you know like i have them in his pose right now like he's running to the front line you know to get to to get some help to the cobra troopers who might need him you know he didn't like to stand too well in this position so i had to throw two figure lab stands on his feet and it works out pretty good but uh yeah he's reading his little holographic readout right here he's got the rifle in hand i decided not to put any of the tools in there just so he can like get to where he's going and take care of business so he's got the rifle in case he needs to blast any joes along the way and that's that uh backpack is nice um it looks good it can fit everything on the figure which is a major bonus you know especially got the tools on the back and i didn't want to put like a hammer or something in his hand you know in this position because it just didn't look right the uh the holster is wide enough to hold that pistol you know especially with the little red dot on it so that's a bonus i really like the drop you know the drop leg piece that it has you know wrapped around the thigh and then coming down from the belt i think a lot of the joes should have had that instead of just a thigh holster um i think the only issue i have with this figure is actually this tube it it's just it's too short um he tried to lift that a little too much and it'll pull the backpack to either side regardless of what hand it's in uh the, i'm sorry what hand the weapon is in and it's just a little goofy. I think it should be a bit longer. It should be hanging down here somewhere. So that way he has, you know, full range if he's holding the rifle to move it wherever, which way he wants to. But yeah, so that that's it. Um, he's a great figure. I highly recommend picking it up if you don't have it. And um, yeah, that'll do it for this one. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please, like always, leave that giant thumbs up. Subscribe. Tickle that bell so you know if I post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media and we will see you in the next one. Peace.